What is good, YouTube fam? Ramadan Kareem to everyone around the world. And may Allah grant you all the blessing and all the patience in the world throughout the 30 days. Now, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so a day in life as an athlete in Ramadan how to stay active and what do I do during the days of Ramadan so we're gonna start with suhoor now when I wake up for suhoor it's around 3 30 in the morning sunrise is about 4 30 so it gives me about an hour to I guess eat and relax take my time so I usually when I wake up I go downstairs now clearly all this has been shot during the day because I'm not gonna be shooting this at night because the lighting would suck so I go downstairs and I check the fridge usually I have some ideas in mind what I want to do because I want to keep three things in mind protein protein and protein Okay, maybe add a little carbs in there. You need the energy during the day So the three things that I mainly eat are eggs peanut butter I try to keep it balanced and consistent when I so with the eggs I eat it with bread the peanut butter I eat it with bread and the protein bar if I'm really not having it I also make shakes actually just just this morning. I I made a shake uh, The blender was very loud. I drank it all. It was good. I have energy after I eat suhoor I go back upstairs and then I pray fajr and then go back to sleep and then once you know It's daytime. I wake up turn on my diffuser. I have like a whole bunch of uh, lens oil blends I really I really love the smell in the morning. It makes my room smell so good. So uh, the diffuser, I have, uh, it's, it's just very relaxing, very stress relieving, kind of maybe do my stretches in the morning. Um, and then I go and check my emails or edit some videos. One of the things that I have to do, I have a presentation coming up or a talk, but a talk that's coming up that I'm gonna, gonna do, preparing for that. And then after I've, you know, check my laptop, do my thing, um, I go to work and then after work, I prepare myself for a workout. So usually on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, I go rock climbing and then Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, I do parkour. Word of advice for everybody who wants to work out during Ramadan. Only work out to like maybe to your limit or a little bit before. One time I worked... <laughs> One time I worked out did not turn out so good. I got really dehydrated real quick Stopped my workout while I was in my zone and I had to go home and just take that rest before if thought um, Suggestion is work out right before if thought or work out after if thought I'm gonna try to do that I've been trying to figure out um, how to do this consistently how to keep my muscle mass how to lose fat at the same time It's really hard just trying to see my limits not too much Maximum I suggest for everybody two hours max You don't even have to reach that far, but I just sometimes I like going beyond my limit Sometimes I have to work on that but then after I do finish that part of my day the best part happens guys if thought and not just with yourself but with your family <laughs> Family gatherings. That's honestly the best part of Ramadan is when all of your families get together. They sit down, have a good laugh, eat together, um, share stories together. It's it's a really, really blessed feeling, you know. So the family comes in, we pray, we get the food ready, and we all like chow down. And the best part about Ramadan is this Arabic dessert, Middle Eastern dessert, Arabic dessert, I don't know the terminology. Middle Eastern dessert called Atayef. So good. It's like so good. Ramadan is a time where you test your patience, you test your faith, um, you feel with the poor. It's also a month of giving, month of donating. It's a very spiritual feeling um, in those 30 days. I think the really amazing part is to go and pray what's called Tarawih. But basically it's a series of prayers done with a span of an hour uh, and everyone is just lined up and the Sheikh which is like an equivalent name to a priest. They recite all the verses of the Quran throughout Ramadan. And on the 30th day, they'll finish the very last chapter of the Quran. I am speaking too much. I'm just gonna end it here. Ramadan Kareem to everybody out there. And I pray that all of you guys have an easy Ramadan. Inshallah, I will too. Still trying to figure this out in terms of working out and fasting. For those of you guys who don't work out, that's okay too. It's probably easier, but inshallah, we'll all get through it. And I wish everybody a blessed month.